Hey guys, welcome. Welcome back. This is another prayer focus. Another time to spend some time with the Lord and whatever you're doing, set so part of your day to press into him, to receive, to experience him, to encounter him, for him to show up in your life right now in his mighty name. Um, I am just a brother in Christ. My name is Zach and, and I'm just here in connection with you by faith, in connection with you by his spirit that is in all of us. Only thing I ask for you guys to do as you pray, as you listen, is to pray to the Lord. Speak up. Give your praises to the Lord. Give your heart to the Lord. Let him hear your voice. He loves your presence and he does miss you just like we miss him. And to remove all types of distractions away so that you can have full focus and pressing that he desires from you. So at no further ado, let's all bow our heads, get into our space, whatever you got to do. And let's just pray. Let's just go into his presence right now in Jesus name. Oh, Father God, thank you so much, Lord. You are powerful. You're wonderful, Lord. You are awesome, Lord. I pray in Jesus mighty name that everybody listening to this is bestowed with light, bestowed with blessing, that supernatural turnarounds, occurrences happen in Jesus name. That I pray in Jesus mighty name that God moves in a, in a supernatural occurrence in your day. Whatever you're going through today, I pray that God moves supernaturally and touches you, blesses you, talks to you and encounters you. I pray that God shows up in your life in a way you did not expect. I pray that God interrupts your day in Jesus' name to interrupt what is going on, to interrupt with his presence and what he wants. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Lord, I pray in Jesus' mighty name that you move powerfully upon your people, that you showcase yourself, that you move in ways they have not seen before, that God's grace is bestowed upon each and every one of you, that everybody in this time right now is being blessed supernaturally. I'm seeing from heaven right now that there is glory, there is light, there are things coming down from the heavens into people's lives. I'm seeing that God is moving into people's lives. He's showing up in places that haven't been shown up in before. I'm seeing that God is wanting to interrupt and interfere and engage with you in things that were normal, that aren't going to be normal anymore when he comes in. I pray in Jesus' mighty name that God moves powerfully, that he showcases himself in supernatural ways, that the flow of the spirit is moving now upon all his people. I pray in Jesus' name that he shows up what he wants to do and nothing else. I pray that God is washing over. I'm seeing a river. I'm seeing a river right now. And I pray in Jesus' name, this river from heaven, this flood of his spirit is flowing over his people. It's flowing over his people and it's washing out any debris. I'm seeing where God is flowing through as a river and washing out debris. It's a cleansing God is doing right now. He is wanting to come in and interrupt and cleanse you right now. He is allowing his spirit to flow through you and touch you. And as his spirit flows through you, he is removing. I'm seeing black things, black materials. It's like debris coming out of you as you remain in this river. I'm seeing multiple saints in this river right now, and their heads are barely above water. Most of them are fully in water. Let your mind, let your thoughts, let everything about you be sunken deep into this river. Let it be sunken deep into the spirit. Let the Holy Spirit have access to all of this, to the very top of your head. Hallelujah. I pray in Jesus' name that God moves powerfully as a river through his spirit to touch and flow through every part of you, your mind. I see the neck. I see the face. I see the jaws. I see the cheeks. I'm seeing the body of people submerged in his water. And I'm seeing that he is flowing through from left to right. And he is continually, it's a continuous stream that he is flowing through you to cleanse, to purge, to translucent you and make you something where his spirit can flow. He is wanting to get it out of you. There is something that he is saying, submerge in me so I can remove it from you. He is allowing his spirit to do this. We must submit. I'm seeing the word submit right now. We must submit to his spirit to allow him in, 
to flow through that thing. If there is a stagnation, if there is some kind of turbulence, if there's some kind of struggle, if there is a type of grudge, something you're holding on to that you're gripping inside of your chest, I'm looking at and seeing someone having something, some kind of issue with their chest, but it's a situational issue. It's an emotional issue. It's a problem. God is saying, let it go and let my spirit flow through that problem, that issue, that struggle, that thing that went wrong, that thing that you did not like, that that unfair happening that happened to you that is still in your heart and you feel like you were done wrong or it just did not feel good. God is saying, let me in and let me through that. He's wanting to remove it. He's saying, I need to remove this. My spirit needs to flow, but this must go. Hallelujah. My spirit needs to flow, but this must go. Go. So in Jesus' mighty name, I pray that we are submitted. We are giving up what we think is fair to hold on to right now in Jesus' name. By Praise you, God. Release it all in Jesus' name. Release it all in the name of Jesus. Get it out of you. Speak it forth. I'm seeing lips move. I'm seeing teeth chatter. God is saying, speak it forth. Confess it. Confess that thing. Let it out. Even if it, if it makes sense to you to keep, even if it makes sense for you to keep, let it out in Jesus name. Let him have it for he can flow. He is greater than that situation. He's greater than that issue. He's greater than that problem. He has it all handled out. He sees what happened. He knows fully what took place. Let him have it. Do not hold on it thinking it is fair. Don't hold on thinking you deserve to hold on to this. Release it now. In Jesus' name. Oh, by I'm seeing this river flow more and more and more. Guys, please, in Jesus' name, stay submitted. Remain in his presence right now. There is a gutting going on right now. There is a cleansing going on. He is flowing with a constant stream. He is wanting everybody to submerge their minds. I continually see repeatedly the heads of saints and partially just maybe like a half an inch of their head is outside of the water. God is saying, I need you that submerged in me. That is that is that much involvement. Let him interrupt what he needs to interrupt in your life. Let him interrupt what he needs to interrupt in your mind. Whatever thing you made belittle, whatever thing you made valid, it must be given to God and let him make it valid. Let him cleanse it. Let him remove it. Because things that you make valid are things that can hold up the spirit in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. How about Yadeshe Praise you, God. Hallelujah. I keep seeing the word release. Thank you, God. Move powerfully for your people. Cleanse them, Father God. Remove them, Lord. Touch them, Father. Have them in the state you want them to have. Let no burden remain in them in Jesus' name. Let all burdens be cast upon the Lord in Jesus' name. And let us receive your yoke, Yeshua. Your yoke, Yeshua, which is light, which is perfection, which is easy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We trade, Lord. We trade, God. We fair trade all the things we have held on to. Every bit that was done to us that we feel like is valid to keep against or hold into us. We release it right now in the name of Jesus. We let go of it. Hallelujah. I'm seeing right now in the spirit. I'm seeing. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the river and I'm seeing so much of the, the debris is so distant from the saints who are doing this right now. I'm seeing God take this debris, whatever you've been holding on to, whatever needs to be gutted out of your mind. It is coming forth and it's coming out by Adesh Sheabah. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. It isn't a far distant away. It's like it's hundreds of feet away from you now. Whatever that thing was, it is now hundreds of feet and it's continually getting more distance away from you. Hallelujah. This is what his spirit does. 
This is what Christ Jesus does. This is what his comforter and his helper and his guide is here for. This is his purpose. This is a portion of what the Holy Spirit can do for you if you allow him to do it. Remember, let God interrupt you for it's a good interruption. It's a great interruption. Let him do it. We praise you, God. His presence is so good right now. Thank you, God. Let this river flow through you. I'm still seeing this river. Speak forth what you need to. Continue to confess. Let God give you the word to say. Let God help you speak that confession in Jesus' name, for he can give you the words. It sometimes is not even a confession. It's just an utterance. It's a groaning. Let the Holy Spirit groan through you out of that. Let it out. Let the tears come out. Let the tears come out. Let it out. For God has a purpose for you. And that purpose is greater than the situation. It's greater than the problem. It's greater than what is upholding you. It's not right for you to hold a burden that is not yours to hold. God has given you a truth. And it is at his burden. And that is all you need. Nothing else. Not even if it makes sense to you, it is not yours to keep. In Jesus' mighty name. By Ashaya Deke. Hallelujah. Praise you, God. Thank you. Thank you for your wonders. Thank you for your miracles. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for moving powerfully upon your people. Thank you for submission and the strength to submit in Jesus' name. For strong it is to make someone submit to you. Lord, we give you all that we are. We praise you in all that we are. Your mighty name, your mighty grace, your awesome power, your mighty cleansing, Lord. Thank you for your grace and love. You are perfect in all your ways. In the mighty name of God, in Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And the congregation says, amen, in Jesus' name. As always, if you are led to pray because the Spirit, I am still feeling his flow. I am still feeling the presence of God now. If you are led to pray, by all means, continue. Do not stop. Do not stop. This is between you and God now. As always, and in Jesus' name, I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Be blessed. Bye.